Hi friends, this single video can help you crack the prelims examination next year. Yes friends, I truly believe that if you implement the strategy which I am going to teach you in this video in your prelims preparation for the next 7 months, no force on earth can stop you from prelims selection next year. Guys, you must have heard the famous quote that winners don't do different things, they do things differently. Guys, let me tell you that the people who crack the prelims examination every year are not the people who read different books from the average aspirants. They also read the same NCRTs, they also read the same magazines, they also read the same newspapers. But the manner in which they read those books, how they use that book, that is different. And that's what differentiates them from the rest of the candidate. So if you want to come at the top, if you want to be that 1% of candidates who clear prelims every year, you have to change your strategy, you have to change the manner in which you study books. And today in this video, I am going to teach you that 1% student strategy, the topper strategy, how do they study. And for that, I am going to use a prelims 2024 question and I am going to demonstrate to you that if you study in the manner I am going to teach you in this video in the next 7 months. I can tell you guys you are going to come back to this video next year and you are going to thank me. Sir, I followed your strategy in the next 7 months and I have scored very high marks in the prelims examination. So guys, let me show you a question which came in the prelims 2024. This question was in the new format and I can tell you most of the candidates who took the prelims examination 2024 must have either skipped this question or attempted it wrongly. Very few candidates would have solved this question. But what if I tell this was the easiest question in the prelims examination this year. If you knew my strategy of study, if you knew how to study, then this was the easiest question because the source from which this question is prepared is read by each and every candidate who is preparing the UPSC examination. I repeat, the source from which this question was framed is followed by each and every candidate. Still, I can tell you 0.01% student also might have got this correct. To show you why this question was the easiest question, I would like to take you to the prelims 2023 because I expect anyone who is writing prelims 2024 at least he would have solved prelims 2023 question. So this is the prelims 2023 question guys. There was a question in the prelims 2023 in which one of the following regions was Dhanya Kataka which flourished as prominent Buddhist center under Mahasangikas located. Guys, if you had analyzed this PYQ before the prelims examination, then you could have come across that this Dhanya Kataka was taken from the new NCERT. So what you could have done? You could have searched what was the source of this question. The source of this question was Themes Indian History Part 1 Class 12th Textbook of the NCERT and you can see here there is a map in the chapter Kings and Farmers and there you can see Dhanya Kataka is mentioned. So obviously guys you will look at other towns also which are mentioned in this map because a question has come from this 2023 question has come from this map. So you can see here they have mentioned here Chandra K2 Gad. Chandra K2 Gad. You can see here. And this was one of the options in 2024. You can see here Chandra K2 Gad. Further guys, since you now know that UPSC is asking questions from maps which are given in history and CRT books, what you could have done? You could have gone through all the maps which are there in the new history NCRT books 
and there are very few. Let me just show you guys. There is a map which is given in class six NCERT book, our past one, and in that map some important archaeological sites, and you can see guys here, Inam Gao is mentioned. This was another option which was given in the question. Further, guys, you can see here that in the NCERT book, they have a special question also on this. You can see people at Inam Gao eight. You can see this question, question E, question number two, option like part E, people at Inam Gao. Further, guys, you can see here they have given table also format and they have asked question on Inam Gao. Now you see how. UPSC is very predictable. UPSC is the most predictable examination, guys. That is why I was able to crack the prelims examination six out of six times. But the manner in which you prepare that makes the hell lot of a difference. If you had analyzed this prelims 2023, and if you could have traced this question to the source, which was the new NCERT book, class 12th, and this map. Then you could have gone through the other locations which are given in this map, and they have picked one location from here. And since they have asked question from history map given in the NCERT, you could have gone through other maps which are given in the NCERT book. Very limited maps are given, guys. Let me tell you, not more than 10, 15 maps are given in the NCERT book on history. And if you have gone through these maps, there was Map in the very first chapter of class six NCERT, you can see this map archaeological sites, and you can see direct question from here. It was asked, and even this place was given two three times in that chapter. Therefore, guys, what I have done in my prelims mentorship batch, guys, I have covered all the NCERT map points of the history. You can see here, ancient India history map session. Medieval India history map session and modern India history map sessions, guys. I have covered each and every map which is there in the new NCERTs, important ones. And guys, I can tell you, if you had gone through these videos, you could have easily solved this question. So you can see, guys, what we have to do is that when we analyze the PYQs, we have to understand two things. what was the source of the question and second is why was the question asked what and why and further how was the question asked because you can see in the prelims 2023 the question was asked in a very simple manner they have just given the place and they have asked where it is located but in the prelims 2024 they have increased the level they have not just asked where it is located they are asking the description also that is how upsc is evolving every year and if you do not evolve with every passing year then you are not going to qualify this examination guys let me tell you in my analysis of the upsc prelims paper in the last 3 4 5 years i can tell you upsc is evolving very fast upsc is evolving very fast and you have to evolve and you have to align your strategy as per the demand of the exam guys this is a competition and in competition you have to perform better than others there is no absolute number it is no absolute number that you have to score Okay, one thirty or one forty or one fifty, then only you will qualify. There is no absolute number. You have to perform better than others. How you have to perform better than others? By having better strategies. If you just depend on crude hard work, guys, let me tell you, you are going to fail in this examination. Crude hard work is not going to help you crack this exam. If you really want to crack this exam, you have to do the smart work like I have just explained you. 2023 question I took, I went from where it was asked, what was the source, 
and then I analyze the source and from there I prepare this location and UPSC asks the same question from the same map but in a different manner you can see in the next year prelims examination. Therefore guys people say sir how are you able to predict so many questions every year guys this is how we predict UPSC paper. You have to understand the mindset of people who are framing the questions. I have been telling you UPSC prelims examination is not only about hard work. Come out of that mindset that you just need hard work. If there was only hard work required then people who are preparing for 6 years they would have cleared prelims. All the people who could clear prelims were the 6 attempters. No first attempter will clear the prelims. But it is not only about hard work it is about smart work and this is what is called smart work. Once you start studying like this, no force on earth can stop you from qualifying the prelims examination. Here I would like to tell you, please go and watch these videos. Please go and watch these videos. These videos will help you prepare all the probable maps which are there in the NCRT books, which can be asked by the UPSC. Because UPSC once picks a theme, then it goes on with that theme for at least 2-3 years. You can see this theme was picked where UPSC is framing question from map locations given in the NCRTs. They asked in 2023, then again asked, they asked in 2024 and again they are going to ask in 2025. But maybe in a different format. But the sources will remain the same. That is why guys I request every one of you to implement these strategies of study in the next 7 months. Guys if you like this video please do consider liking this video and sharing this video with all your friends who are preparing for the prelims 2025. Thank you friends. God bless you.